Hey guys, my name is Kelsey and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me as I decorate my dining room table for the 4th of July. I'm also going to be doing a 4th of July charcuterie board and some other 4th of July little treats to go along with it. Um, we're actually having some company over later today, so I thought it would be a lot of fun to kind of show you guys how I set things up for a party, kind of, and show you how I design things, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope that you guys enjoy the video. So I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday, and I was looking through their 4th of July things, and I found a couple of items that I thought would be really cute to decorate my table with. So I was going to show you guys what I bought real quick. So I have these um, charger plates on my kitchen island. Um, I love these things, they're plastic, so my toddler cannot break them, <laughs> but they're only $1.99 each. Um, so I was gonna use these um, as kind of like the charger plates around the table. And then I bought some of these, I guess they're just like a jute, um, like a, almost like for under the charger, I guess like a placemat or whatever. Um, and they were on sale for four dollars each so i thought that was a pretty good deal so i got some to go around the table and my plan is to just go ahead and set these white chargers on top of them and then i think i'm going to put like an american flag um, on top of the white plates so it'll kind of be like stacked on top of each other but i think it's going to look really cute um when i was at hobby lobby i also found this really cute runner um, I hope it's long enough for my table, but it's really cute, and I think it was only like $9, um, since all of their 4th of July stuff is 50% off right now, so I got that as well. And then last but not least, I got this really big charcuterie board. Um, I've been wanting like a longer one for a long time, um, so this is it. It's like, <laughs> it is huge. <laughs> And it was in their spring collection, which is 50% off right now. So I think it was like around $30 for this, um, but I'll definitely use this for future events. And I'm gonna try to use it today as well in the video. So, so yeah, that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. And so now I'm gonna show you guys how I set up the table. So as you guys can see, I am putting some glass cups around the table. These are actually um, ball canning jars that we used to drink out of. It's the wide mouth version and I believe they're 24 ounces, um, but they make the perfect drinking glass um, to put you know, tea or water or lemonade in. It's just the right amount. So this is what we use a lot for supper to drink out of. 
but I'm about to start putting some cloth napkins under the plates to kind of dress it up a little bit. Um, I got these actually at Home Goods a couple of weeks ago, and I believe it was about ten or eleven dollars for a pack of eight, which I kind of felt like was a good deal. Um, so I can reuse those again for different holidays and such. But I thought they went really cute with my kind of white themed. Um, if you can't tell, I love white. So <laughs> yes, I am just decorating the rest of the table with those. And um, I found two cute little glass jars that I'd had stored in my cabinet. And I decided I was going to put those on the table. And I was going to put some extra American flags I had in there just to kind of give it a little bit of height and some more color. So that's how I decorated our table for the 4th of July. It's nothing fancy. It's something simple that I can take down pretty quick. But I hope that you guys enjoyed my dining room table decor and I hope that you guys got some inspiration from it. Now I'm going to start working on the charcuterie board and getting that prepped. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So I was also going to show you guys some of the other things that I grabbed from Hobby Lobby um, to use for my charcuterie board. I actually found these really cute, um, they're like metal cookie cutters. Um, they were like $1.50 because they were half off. Um, so I'm going to cut some cheese out with these um, and do different things with these. I also found these really cute little picks. They're clear, blue, and red. Um, and so I thought it'd be cute to like make some little sandwiches and then just put those in the top of the sandwich to like kind of hold it all together. I also found these two chargers. Um, one is like navy and one is just red. And I thought that these would be cute to like put some like food on or something. Um, I don't know. I may use these, I may not, but I just thought they were really cute. And they were only $1.50 each on sale. I also bought this um, really cute tiered tray. I bought it a couple years ago from, I think it was Home Goods. Um, but I'm gonna use this to kind of put some cookies on and to display food. And I also got this really cute red star. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this or if I'll even use it, but it's there if I need it. Um, I also got these little plastic bowls from the Dollar Tree and I just grabbed those up because I thought maybe one day I'll use them um, or you know you could put chips in them or like nuts or something or even candy so I may use these um, eventually but I may use them today who knows we'll see I also found these really cute like popcorn treat buckets um, at home goods and they're really cute and one of them says stars and stripes forever and I just had to get them because I thought they were cute. I'm not gonna use these today, but maybe on the 4th of July, if we do like popcorn or something, um, I may end up using these, but I'm just like a sucker for like red, white, and blue things. So I had to have these. Um, so now we're gonna start making the charcuterie board and we're gonna start prepping all of the food. And I'm just gonna show you guys kind of how I do that real quick. So I'm about to start making the charcuterie board and obviously the color theme is going to be red, white, and blue. And I went ahead and got all of my fruits and cheeses and like little snacks out and I have it all spread out on the counter. Um, I went ahead and washed my fruit yesterday and went ahead and put them in some like bowls and stuff just to get them ready for the board. And I'm going to kind of show you guys like how I set things up and stuff like that. But what I was gonna tell you guys is that one of my favorite things to do um, when I make a charcuterie board is I'll go on Pinterest or I'll go on, you know, some sort of social media and I'll kind of like look up inspiration pictures and that way I can kind of visually see what I can do. I'm a very visual person, so <laughs> that way I can kind of um, see how someone else was able to like, you know, put things together and arrange it and then I kind of just feed off that and then my inspiration takes off and it's just easier for me to do that. So if you guys have never done a shark cute reboard, then I would definitely recommend just looking up inspo pictures and just kind of going from there and seeing what you guys are able to do. But honestly, they're so easy and everyone loves them and who doesn't like to snack? 
on a board of cheeses and fruits and vegetables. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started real quick. And oh, also I was gonna tell you guys that I went to Aldi's for the very first time with my sister. And um, so I got some different like cheeses and some fruits and stuff like that. So that was a really cool experience, but definitely I will be back to that store because it was a lot of fun and everything was so cute. So anyways, let's get started. So a little tip that I have for making a charcuterie board is that you want to kind of spread everything out a little bit um, and you kind of want to make things balanced per se on the board. And in this case I put two of the same exact uh, brie cheeses on the board on opposite ends um, and I kind of swooped crackers around them to kind of match. So I kind of feel like that brings in um, kind of symmetry on the board. 
and I also placed two glass jars near each other on the board but it kind of gives it like this overall look where everything is balanced but honestly doing a charcuterie board is so easy and it doesn't have to be perfect by any means um, everybody's going to eat it and snack on it no matter how it's laid out so it really doesn't have to be perfect but if you are looking um, to kind of spruce it up a bit you know you could always just kind of spread everything out and put different fruits and different cheeses um, on opposite sides of the board also just so you guys know I was totally jamming out to Christmas music as I was making this charcuterie board um, I love Christmas so much it's my favorite time of year and I was actually born on Christmas so I feel like it's just like in my blood that I have to listen to Christmas music year-round but does anyone else listen to Christmas music year-round or is it just me <laughs> and also I cannot wait to start watching the Hallmark Christmas movies that come on in July I look forward to those every year and honestly it's just gotten me in the spirit so I cannot wait for Christmas Thank you. 
So I went ahead and made some sugar cookies. I'm gonna make some little fruit cookies um, and I got the cream cheese laid out so it can get to room temperature. So I'm gonna start on those in just a minute. Hope you guys enjoyed following along with me today as I got my dining room table ready for the 4th of July in my little 4th of July charcuterie board and cookies. Um, if you guys would please like and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the absolute world to me. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and a happy 4th of July. Thank you guys. Bye.